I decided to uh, take the uh, virtual reality class for both uh, fear of flying and for fear of heights. It's uh, something that I felt I needed to do. Um, the uh, flying and, and heights have been a problem with me for um, almost 30 years and um, it was inflicting uh, difficulties on myself in terms of traveling and wanting to do things and I found myself um, eliminating a lot of the fun things that I used to do. I just didn't want to do them um, and I'd find excuses for not doing them and for reasons uh, I couldn't go here or I couldn't go there and then feel bad later that I didn't go so um, I just decided it was time to um, put my life on hold and work on this for a while. A friend of mine uh, had mentioned to me that um, there was a virtual reality clinic that was going to be formed in the psychology department in regards to this and um, got me the information and I followed up on it and we sat down and we talked about some of the things that uh, were plexing me and what I needed to uh, uh, do as far as uh, the program and we started by discussing what the problem was um, and what may have caused it and then from there we I learned to do diaphragmic breathing uh, as a means to ease my uh, fears and stress levels then we began a series of VR um, introductory type of things where I was um, in a plane. I learned, like I say, the, the breathing techniques to go along with the actual um, uh, flying uh, of the VR. Um, I had gotten to a point where I was absolutely unable to even want to get on a plane at all uh, from small props to multi props to jets anything I was preparing myself for a trip back east and that was the key thing I, I just wanted to feel like I could go uh, back to New York State uh, uh, and feel let's say reasonably comfortable, maybe not as comfortable as someone who's not afraid of flying, but uh, with far less stress than what I had, had had in previous years. And I relied on all the techniques that I had learned in the VR class and the tapes that I played in my mind and the visualizations that I, that I did, and it made a flight that um, would have probably uh, had me right up on the wall uh, into something that I was able to tolerate and um, um, get through and felt pretty good about having got there and then on the return um, even less stressful. I felt that the program was far and above uh, better than I had even expected. I really didn't know what to expect when I came in but I found that for me, it was a lifesaver, and I was then able to go about and do other things, uh, not just from flying, but um, other things that had um, a, a fear factor of heights and of this nature. And so it was, it was powerful. the blue line here is your temperature and as you get relaxed your temperature actually goes up more and that's because the blood vessels uh, dilate so we've got vasodilation so the blood goes all the way to your fingertips as you get more relaxed this pink line here is your skin conductance your sweat gland activity and as you get more relaxed that goes down more and yours right now is at 1.3 so it's almost at the bottom it'll go down to 1.0 all the way relaxed. 
this red line here is your heart rate. And as you inhale, your heart rate actually goes up a little bit. And as you exhale, it comes down a little bit. So we'll be looking for nice even stair steps up and down as you inhale and exhale. This yellow line is your respiration rate. As you inhale, push your stomach out. The yellow line actually will go up. And as you exhale and pull your stomach all the way back in, the line will go down. So nice, even peaks and valleys. Very good. These are the different frequency bands of your heart rate. And as you're able to focus on the breathing and just quiet the mind, the red line will go above the yellow line. And we'll see a corresponding peak here at the point one level. Everything else becoming flat. And then finally, this is just a metronome set at six breaths a minute. So as you inhale, it goes up. And as you exhale, it comes all the way back down. What's brought me back this time was it's been a couple of years since I had been here and the 9-11 um, tragedy in our country put uh, a real fear that was starting into my mind about wanting to get back on a plane. And I actually um, canceled a couple of flights after 9-11 not to fly. And I was thinking, you know, this is not good. I don't want to go back to where I was. And as a result of these plane uh, uh, accidents, um, would I want to come back for some additional help? And I, I was even hesitant in answering her on that. I felt kind of foolish. Why should I, you know, answer back that I'm going backwards rather than forwards? But um, I did, and suggested that um, um, in the summer here of, of 2002 in June, um, I'd block out some time, would come back in, would. Um, again try to desensitize myself on these uh, some new uh, VR and um, and go through the process again and see if um, um, improvements could be made as well as in in my own uh, other phobia of, of heights that was now once again becoming alarmingly it would run it seemed to run in cycles it would run it would be okay for a little while and then it would come running back and and uh, again your lifestyle has changed and if you're, uh, like I am, not willing to stop and give up your life, um, you, you have to make these, these uh, life changes and you have to make the uh, necessary things to make you a better person. And uh, the only way you do it is, is by uh, um, setting time aside and saying this is, this is the priority, this is what you need to do. I think the flying uh, one was especially good because I noticed that uh, a lot came back to me and the confidence once again was returned and I was able to leave the, uh, the clinic here after um, almost three weeks to once again go on a flight back to New York and then back here uh, on the return with almost um, no problem at all. I didn't have a panic attack, um, I didn't have... Um, um, thoughts racing in my mind on, on the plane flight like I, I would have had and so it was maybe the best enjoyable flight I've had in 30 years. This is a progressive. Um, I listen to a tape that is a relaxation tape um, and I do a lot of my own visualizations. I'll visualize something that I'm going to do prior and try to focus only a positive visualization. If I get a negative visualization, then I'll do something else, come back and start all over again. There were things I read, there were things um, I did on my own. Um, I, I, on the air, on the air uh, situation, I went down to the airport and hung around the airport and smelled the jet fuel and felt comfortable. Um, there were exercises on the heights that I did from, from climbing up and down beach stairs to uh, railings at uh, condominiums to elevators to um, 
uh, over at uh, the University Town Center, just taking the escalator up and down and walking around the stores on, on the upper levels. There were more good days than there were bad days. There were days, I actually went backwards. I, I thought, oh wow, I got this thing pretty well licked, and turned right around and went from, from uh, uh, third base right back to ground zero. I had to start it all over again. I have one final goal in the, in the flying that um, I want to do, and that is to um, work my way back onto a propeller-driven aircraft, which was the reason I got back into this clinic in the first place, was the fear of flying as a result of a propeller uh, aircraft uh, problem. You've got to do more than just come to the clinic. The clinic will direct you, but you've got to make extra efforts. Because if you're just relying on the, on the clinic, um, I think you'll get something out of it, but you're not going to get what you want out of it. Um, you you uh, will fall short. I think a, a little um, therapy, I think a little um, VR, um, if you've got a problem, and you'll know if you've got a problem, um, that's probably the best way to go. Even flying with a friend didn't help just flat didn't help because uh, they all they do is they look at you and say well what's wrong is uh, something bothering you and you're all right but they're not feeling what it is and that's what you have to deal with it's what you feel you know, I was pretty far along in terms of, of um, on a scale of 1 to 10 of where I didn't want to fly 10 being I didn't want to fly I was probably 9 plus I think that in time um, this is going to pass I think it's I've got the best of it and uh, um, I would suggest to anybody that um, has a fear of flying, um, the first thing is, is recognize that that's what it is, that that's the phobia, and then um, set the time aside to get that thing taken care of. Don't wait as long as I did. Um, get it taken care of, and uh, um, I think this is a good place to do it. Can you look down? Good.